In this video series, we're going to create a Pac-Man scene like you can see here. And um, for this video, we're going to start by creating Pac-Man itself. So um, the scene itself is really simple. We have Pac-Man, we have a few dots, cubes, a ground plane. And when we render that, it looks kind of like nice with some lights. So when we want to start with the Pac-Man, we first want to get a reference image. So we can just go into Google and search for Pac-Man and then images. And here we already have some nice images. Um, for this case, I think I like to go for actually a 3D Pac-Man. So I don't want to have those arms and legs. So for example, this one here or down here, like this one is actually really nice. Um, so here, if we look at it, we can already see like, we can see the basic shape. We can see like, okay, we have here kind of um, thickness inside and the eyes are basically round. It's just kind of a triangle missing. So with that in mind, we can kind of like start creating our own Pac-Man scene. So let's go back into Blender. Let's load a new scene and here we go. In Blender, let's take a look. So, of course, we don't want a cube, we can delete that. And what we want is um, like a round shape as a starting shape. Now, if we add a mesh, oh, let's, let's first turn on some screen keys so you can see that. No, that's better. Here we go. Um, if we add a mesh, we have basically two round shapes we have a UV sphere and an icosphere. And for like what you choose here can make your life later a lot easier or a lot more difficult. So let's take a look at the UV sphere. Now, um, when we're looking here at this one, for example, if I go into edit mode, you can see the normal faces are all quads. So, um, and we basically just have some triangles on top of here who are all getting together at that one point. So for creating the mouth opening, we could actually do that. But for the eyes, it would be like really, really difficult. Like for the mouse, we could just say like, okay, here we're gonna go and select a few of those faces and then like remove them and we have that, that opening. But for the eyes, it would be like how we create round eyes and then also cut out that triangle. So that could be kind of difficult. Maybe we could find a nice way to do that. Maybe with some wool or whatever. But let's take a look at the other shape. So I'm just gonna delete that out. And now we can look at the icosphere. So the icosphere already has quite some triangles. And if we look at the shape from, we can go back here, we can see there are actually a lot of triangles. So we have here a triangle in the eye. This opening here could be also seen like as a kind of triangle. So in total, we can see a lot of triangles here. So this shape could be actually like really helpful. Now, um, if you look at this shape, it doesn't have like a lot of detail. So we could say like, oh, let's go up with one subdivision. Then we have a little bit more geometry to actually play with. Okay. So, and um, yeah, that's uh, the shape we're going to start with. So we can go into modeling and then start by adding the mouth opening first. Is we're going to select Alt A to deselect all the faces. And then um, if you press three, you can go into face selection mode. Now I'm already there, so um, we can do that. And then if we want to select those nice, um, the mouth opening, you can see like, for example, if we would start here, here the um, line, if we would follow this line, it makes a kind of bow and I don't really like that. But for example, if we would start here in that face and then go here, uh, go following this lines, it actually makes some nice lines and I think that would be the perfect opening. So to easily select those faces, I just gonna click C to circle select. Now I can draw over them with my left mouse button and just select them all. And then right click to get out of the um, C selection mode and then paint over the next ones again. Um, if you accidentally like uh, add one face, you can with the middle mouse button um, basically draw over it and then it deselects them again. Now that looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and press X and then we're going to delete those faces. Now here we have a nice mouth opening and I think that looks already quite the way we actually want it. So now, um, as we could see in the reference image, we have this kind of um, like it's not Pac-Man is not like totally thin 
like ours is currently. So what we can do is we're just going to go into object mode and then add a modifier. So here under the modifiers, we're going to go add and then say a solidify modifier. As you can see, there is now like a small thickness to our plane, but it's like really small. So we can play around a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's a little too much. Let's go for uh, dot one. Yes, that looks fine. Um, like I like to choose a value, like first play around to see what kind of about I want to go for and then type in a real value. So for later, I know exactly what kind of thickness I have here and what I should like not exceed. Um, so that's kind of sometimes really handy. So that looks fine. And we can already apply that because we don't need any like changes or something like that. So that looks fine. Now, um, obviously we need actually like a really nice smooth round surface and not like this, like this triangles. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. So if I go for control one, it's adding here a subdivision surface modifier and you can see control one. So it puts the subdivisions in the viewport to one. So if I would go control two, it's adding that up. So control one should be fine. Um, and what we can also do is go to object mode here and then say shade smooth. Now this is putting a nice smoothness smoothness to the whole object. Okay, so um, if you look at that, it's somehow like, especially like here the edge is not really looking the way I would go for it. Like it should be somehow like these edges should be a little bit more sharp. And what we can do really easily is we can go back into edit mode and then you have the option here to turn on off the viewport so we can see our basic shape just to edit it. Now we're going to go into edge selection mode. So just press two and then we're going to select all the edges that we say, like we want them to have be, like to be a little bit more sharper. So we don't want the subdivision surface modifier to affect those edges that much. So let's select those ones. Okay, here we go. Um, and now what we can do is we can crease those edges. So with shift and an E, um, you basically now see they're just turning pink, but in the top left corner, you can see that, that numeric value that's changing between um, zero, like minus one and one. So what we're going to go for like one would be having them completely sharp. So a subdivision modifier is not affecting them at all. I want them um, to be like affected a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to go for a dot eight. I think that should be fine. So now if we go back into edit mode, it doesn't look fine. Um, we can turn this one on. So now it's smoothing it again, but somehow we still have some artifacts here that, you know, don't look really nice. Um, and the thing is, it's the way of how this shade smooth is actually working. So if we use shade smooth and we have something like this, we can go here into the object data and then under normals, we have an option of auto smooth. And um, that is exactly what we're going for. So we have those edges that we want to be sharp, sharp, and the rest is looking nice and smooth. So that's better. Um, so also, I think the mouth here could be also a little bit sharper. So let's turn this one off for a second. Select those two. And then go Shift E again. Here we could probably go with a smaller value. So let's go for dot five. I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. So next. Um, what we're going to do next is the eyes. Actually, I think the eyes is nice. So let's take a look at that. Um, so let's switch into face selection mode. And as we saw from the images, like the opening of the eye is pointing outwards. So like, I think we could go for those ones here and then just mirror the whole thing on the other side. I think that would be kind of nice eyes. And um, they're kind of a little bit put to the inward. So we're going to use the inset tool just by pressing I and then left click to just to say, yeah, okay. Now you can see two options here, thickness and depth. And if you play around with that, you can see, okay, thickness is kind of like, 
leaving it on the same level but putting it inwards and we want to keep that at zero and now we just want to change the depth so depth is kind of putting it out or inwards and that's why i said it's nice to know how like how the solidifier modifier what value that has so we should not put it inwards more than minus um dot one so for example here we could go for minus dot zero seven and then we know like it's not going through the downside of our pacman so that's quite nice and of course now the eyes are looking also like yeah not that great yet so here again we're going to do the same so i'm just going to disable that for a second go into edge selection mode by pressing two and then select those edges that i want to be sharp so those ones here and then add a crease edge so yeah, I'm gonna go for dot eight again. That's fine, and then do the same for the other side. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Now that already looks okay. So we can see the eye in general goes round here. Um, but the thing I'm missing here is that like these these ones here, those, those should be um, also sharp. So I'm just gonna add that too. Okay, here we go. So let's turn it on and let's take a look. That looks kind of fine. Um, that already looks quite like a Pac-Man like we wanted. So for example, we could put up like a little bit more subdivisions it looks a little bit more smoother that's also nice so basically the only thing that is missing now is like um this black area so as you can see it's kind of like a plane in the mouth so like over here we can see the inside of pac-man but here it's like just a flat area so that is basically the only thing we're missing now in our model and then we're already finished uh, let's first rename this one too Pac-Man, then it's later a little bit easier, and now Shift A. Um, no, we're gonna go into edit mode because then it's like one object, which I think is nicer in the end. And now in edit mode, we can say Shift A. Um, so we're gonna go for uh, icosphere again, and we're gonna scale that down so it's like basically filling the inside of our Pac-Man. Now we can use shift H to like hide the rest of the pigment and now we can simply just work on that sphere. So let's take a look. Um, so what we want is just a round face. So we can go ahead into face selection mode and say, we're gonna select those top faces. Oh, let's go in for wireframe. So we also have the different ones and let's turn off this one. So now we can just select our stop faces, say X and delete faces. Now what I want is basically having these, this edge loop up here. So just that one edge loop uh, and nothing like underneath it. So we can go ahead and delete those faces. And here we're gonna go into edge selection mode, select those one and then say also select edges now here we have a nice circle that's already perfect um and i'm just gonna fill that up with faces so i'm gonna select two opposite and then press f area here and here okay that's gonna be like oh we can split that well you could for the render you could probably also just select um all of them and then just do one big face and just not not really go into like detail here um, I'm just gonna use a knife tool and then add one more here um, and then enter and now we have like I have quads but I mean we're rendering it and I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem okay to get back our original Pac-Man we can press alt H to reveal the hidden and now we have a nice plane. So the only thing I want to do now is um, select that inner plane and just press G and then set to move it a little bit down. So we basically have a kind of, you know, little edge here. 
and that looks fine okay so here we have our little pac-man and what we can do now before finishing this one off is we can give it already a basic color so that might make it easier later on um, and we already have that set so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the material tab here there should be already one material here so let's sit here let's rename that pac-man yellow okay let's choose a nice base color Oh, um, let's go into the material settings and we have a nice Pac-Man. But of course we want to have like those inner um, areas black. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go back into edit mode and we're going to go add here another material. So for this one object, we're just having multiple materials. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call that Pac-Man. Just one on black. Oh, I'm gonna set that to black. And now we already have, like, I have already this area here selected, so I can just click assign and that turns that one black. So now Alt A is deselecting, and I'm just gonna do the eyes too. So with circle select C, I'm gonna select those areas in here, C, and then left mouse button to select them middle mouse button if you need to remove something right to just jump out of the selection mode and then all right there's one more i'm just gonna shift select that that looks fine and then also click the black material and say assign here we go okay um we can already play around a little bit with those values so for example we can say for the black i'm gonna put the roughness a little bit up for the yellow Maybe we put this bit curlier. Oh, also a little bit up. Um, the roughness a little bit down. You know, just play a little bit around. And now we can take a look at our Pac-Man. Just gonna enable this. And it looks quite fine. So one last thing we might do is like, if you look at the picture, it's a little bit turned. Oh, let's turn that back on for a second. Um, so I'm just going to do select all and then rotate it a bit around the y-axis. Like Here we go. Maybe like minus, what about 18? 18 looks fine. Yeah, I think that looks good. And yeah, let's take a look at rendered. That looks fine. Here we go. Okay, so with this we can work. Um, and so for the next video, we can create um, the background image, uh, like the, the other objects, and then also um, adjust the colors more because now adjusting the colors is kind of difficult because we don't know how the lighting is going to be, how the rest of the other objects is going to affect Pac-Man. So we're just going to leave it for now like this, and then next video we can work on the rest. Thanks for watching, and if you like it, of course, leave a comment. And um, yeah, of course, feel free to share your pictures would be... Nice to see what you would do with this tutorial. Okay, see you in the next one.